While many are feeling the impacts of this week's shootings in Half Moon Bay and Monterey Park, perhaps no one community is harder hit than the Asian American one. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns has been talking with local community leaders about just that all night and joins us live from the newsroom. Tim. Yeah, Alma, now one important thing to remember here is that not only were both shooters and most of the victims Asian, but that these shootings happened during the Lunar New Year celebrations. One of the people I spoke with this evening told me it's akin to having two mass shootings happen on a holiday like Christmas. Two mass shootings happening just hours apart, rocking the Asian American community to its core. It's very rare. It's really unheard of. Justin Zhu is the executive director of San Francisco-based Stand with Asian Americans. He says the attacks in Monterey Park and Half Moon Bay have sent shockwaves through the local AAPI community, especially because of their timing, happening right at the start of the sacred Lunar New Year celebrations. For us to, to see this happen, and to think that, you know, elderly Asian uh, are, are, are committing these during this time really strikes close to, you know, our, 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 our hearts and our families. But Zhu says the attacks are just one part of the story. He tells me the past several years have been difficult for many Asian Americans due to the pandemic and the spike in hate crimes that it fueled. This is a wake up call for our community to to check in on each other, to look at our mental health. To commemorate the victims, vigils have been happening around the Bay Area. On Wednesday night alone, people placed crosses in Santa Clara and gathered in Oakland. Carl Chan was one of those in attendance at the East Bay event. He says some in the community are fearful that the recent mass shootings could spark retaliation. You know, some folks will be using this uh, and to start another uh, you know, wave of you know, attacking uh, the AAPI community. But as the trauma of the week begins to set in, yeah, Zhu and Chan say it's be... important for those both inside and outside of the AAPI community to show support, staying strong during a difficult time while also not letting the past weigh them down. Please don't let all these incidents stop us from doing what we do every day because, you know, life, you know, we have to move on. And there will be another vigil held tomorrow night in San Francisco's Portsmouth Square. That will begin at 530. I'm live in the newsroom tonight. Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.